Hi, I'm Cassidy Kutke, and my piece is called uh, Rusty the Bird. Oh, it's tragic. Oh, it's terrible. Turn away from this ghastly tale. This ain't no game of patty cake, no walk in the park, no tale without heartache. Well, usually there is a web of causes in tragedy. I've pinpointed the origin of this one to the very T. Somewhere along the line, some adults were ill-advised. All, all programs, they bellowed, all children's programs must encourage child creativity without constraint, prohibiting any in-the-box adult mind taint. Little Charlie in his oversized head, what a tragic and terrible tale. Insert tears here and sobs upon sobs. I'll give you a chance to turn away, now, before you pull out your hair in frustration at the ludicrous things you're about to hear. While you may be familiar with the Teletubbies, or the characters on Sesame Street, or some red or blue dog, Bulbous Head Charlie fell in love with Rusty the Bird, a beloved and well-revered show. The show became an instant hit. Thousands of toys sold every minute. The first was a Rusty the Bird's Rusty figurine, which took a long time to be launched into stores due to the wait time on the rust to form. The creators of the toys turned to the Ford Motor Company to learn how to speed up the process. <laughs> Soon you could get all of Rusty the Bird's belongings as collectibles. Rusty the Bird's rusty nails. Rusty the Bird's rusty car brakes. Rusty the Bird's rusty barbed wire. And a whole slew of others that were commonly featured on the Rusty the Bird television show. Rusty the Bird abandoned the usual precautionary lines of don't try this at home or don't try this at home without parental supervision. Instead, the tetanus-inducing bird cawed at his followers, do this immediately, try this at home, make sure your parents do not find out. <laughs> this is where little Charlie's imagination took flight, and I mean that quite literally. After one of Rusty the Bird's ill-conceived demonstrations on his show, which fe featured a rusty plane, little Charlie with his oversized head got into a little plane. What baffles the public is where he found such a rusty plane in working condition, just his size. The many articles after the incident seem to focus on that point, which of course is the most important point of this scenario. Little Charlie took flight during the winter day, his takeoff leaving multiple tracks in the snow that would later serve as evidence in the impending court case. He soared into the air in the rusty little plane, dodging some trees and some cars as his wondrous flight took him about. Onlookers began to notice when little Charlie called out, watch, watch, watch. Of course, everyone assumed little Charlie wanted them to look upon his magnificent feet. But in reality, little Charlie only knew clocks by his father's watch. And it was this giant watch that Charlie hit with his rusty little plane. Excuse my lack of a good ending. My storytelling is a little rusty. <laughs> I would like to welcome to the stage Sarah Rudolph. 